Welcome back to the SSO Family Dad channel. Today we're going to be working on all of this fall time leaves cleanup and things around the yard. But what do we do with them all? Well, that's gonna pretty much wrap up the raking. I'm not gonna do too much more raking. I don't, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a lot of leaves still out here. They're gonna blow around and whatever, but what I've been doing is putting the, some of the leaves in here in the, the chicken run area. So I'll kick these around and spread them out. The chickens will do that too. Uh, but this just, th this area in here, they pick out every bit of everything in here on the ground. So grass and nothing's really growing in there, especially in the fall because things are all dying off. And so we'll give them a good layer of uh, leaves around in here and that stuff as it breaks down, especially coming into the springtime, that's a great spot for bugs and worms and grubs and all those kinds of things to uh, start to you know, dig in and bed underneath all that, all those leaves in there and the chickens will love that stuff. So, so this gives them uh, something to kind of scratch through and walk around on for the winter. So I've said this many times before in many videos, but leaves are an amazing compost material they're great by themselves as a compost material um, and they're great mixed in with manures and, and green uh, um, vegetation and weeds and all that other kind of stuff that will break down uh, with them as well but in this case instead of taking all these leaves and taking them back to the compost pile mixing them in letting them compost down and bring it back out here i'm just going to compost all this stuff right here i mean i've, I've the, all the, the whole garden is covered in leaves. Those will all break down in the garden. And I've just hauled as many leaves as I could over to this garden area. Uh, and I'm trying to, to re-mulch uh, this, uh, this sand that I dug up when I put pipes in here and everything. I tore all this up. This was nice garden soil before. And so these leaves will sit in here. They'll get wet. They'll get snowed on. Um, they'll, you know, throughout the springtime, especially the, the thaw and freeze and thaw and freeze, it just breaks these things down and they'll they'll mulch right into this uh, this area and uh, create some really good soil. Uh, I only wish I had more leaves to put over here. To be honest with you, I could cover this thing with about a foot of leaves and it would break down into just the best soil by, by springtime. And now for the rest of the leaves, what's left here, we're gonna mulch those in to the grass. So it always drives me nuts, you know, people, <laughs> those leaves are such a great source of nutrients for the lawn. And uh, if you just chop them up a little bit, they'll get in there. I mean, we don't fertilize this yard, of course. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna pay or spend time fertilizing grass. That doesn't do me any good anyway. 
So we'll just chop up these leaves. We'll, we'll mulch this stuff in here. But I need to do a little hack to the tractor first before we can mulch these. My tractor's not set up for that. There we go, just like that, we now have a mulching mower. And I know some of you might be saying, how could you drill holes in such a nice tractor? This tractor is such a piece of junk that uh, maybe one day I'll have a fancy new lawn tractor, we'll spend some money, money on cutting our grass, but I bought this on Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks. Can't shut it off because the battery's dead, I have to jump start with my truck, it's missing some pieces. Tires are so far out of alignment that it's really fun to steer. This one's pointed way over there and this one's pointed straight. Most of the time when I put it in full forward, it barely moves. The hydrostatic drive is screwed up. It has served me well for a couple hundred bucks and for a couple years now it has cut the grass. So I consider that a successful purchase. <laughs> so now with our little modification, we now have a mulching mower. So that's gonna keep all those leaves in there. So as we run this stuff over, instead of just blowing it around, it's gonna hopefully chop it up into finer pieces and let it settle into the grass. That's the plan anyway. Of course, I wouldn't recommend doing this with uh, heavy grass or wet, anything like that, because you're gonna bog your tractor down pretty bad. Second thought, I'm not sure anyone should actually do this at all, but. I would call that a success. I think it actually worked pretty good. It did blow out a lot of the uh, a lot of the leaves out the side and out the front and stuff like that because that's why I drilled those holes in it to try to let air come out to you know out the side there without it blowing out from underneath the deck. It was blowing a lot of leaves out of the way, but it definitely mulched mulched a lot. I mean, this was all completely covered with leaves and they're all chopped up pretty good. So most of this stuff is. You know, little bits and pieces like this. The chickens are going to love their spot. Especially as those start to break down, that's going to be going to be awesome for them. Every year we talk a lot about leaves, uh, especially because they're such a good source of nutrients and, and they're so useful around uh, the homestead or the farm. Uh, I've even tried to bale leaves before in the past. I'll put a link up in the uh, upper right hand corner to that video. Uh, I got all the hay equipment out and raked the leaves in the backyard and tried to bale them. And uh, they're just too dry. They just don't stick together in a bale very well. But I did make a, a bale or two successful bales of leaves. Uh, and I actually grew tomatoes in them <laughs> the year after. Uh, and they, they, they grew okay. 
The leaves are uh, leaves are a great resource, and I I hate uh, if you haven't noticed by now. Um, I'm not a big fan of yards and and grass and lawn and all that stuff. I think it's nice to have a small area, you know, where you can get out and and use that, uh, you know, your your yard or lawn or whatever. But I, I will slowly recover all of this that's been planted grass. I, I will slowly transition and turn this into orchard and landscaped uh, and garden spaces and trees and other things like I just want to get rid of this grass I, I hate dealing with all the grass uh, but leaves are a great resource I mean basically uh, we're we're farming these leaves we're, we're, we're raking them up and harvesting them just as we do we would any other crop or resource around here uh, and we're going to use those we're going to put those to use so the chickens will will get some use out of them they'll get uh, use for uh, it mulch throughout the gardens and and to amend the soil for next year and they'll go into our compost pile and, and help the, the whole compost operation so leaves are a are a resource uh they're they're annoying but they're definitely a resource so so hopefully you enjoyed the the lawnmower hack today <laughs> and the uh, uh the old simplicity that that tractor i actually hope it doesn't run next year so i can buy a new one but uh we'll see if it, if it, if it gives me another year then it was really worth the 200 bucks i spent on it for sure so don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video guys and of course subscribe if this is your first time to the ssl family dad channel we'd love to have you follow along and as always thanks for watching have a good one